Hi everybody, Jo here. Thanks so much for popping in again. As always, I'm looking forward to spending some crafty time with you. Now yesterday I shared a lovely, well I think it was a lovely, uh, festive Christmas design using one of our large corner stamps. And it was this one here, the lovely, I'm just taking it off the block to show you, the lovely Tangled River Root Corner. And I did mention that there was a smaller version, a baby sister, I'd like to say, called the River Root Corner Small. And after I'd done the video, I thought, do you know what? It's no good just showing our lovely ladies and gentlemen a stamp. Let's come up with a design. So I'm going to use this stamp today. The design is based around this stamp, just to show you another twist on it. And also, I'm thinking this could be used for a card for a male. Now, often we do struggle with cards for men. Sorry, men, I know you don't mean to be difficult, but sometimes, obviously, because we have lots of florins, floral designs and lots of almost feminine designs, don't get me wrong, men can love flowers, you know, just as much. I mean, a lot of the best gardeners are males, aren't they? Although I've got a very lovely rose called Gertrude Jekyll. She was special. Anyway, I digress, as always. Sorry. Um, so I thought I'd come up with this design. And I really wanted to show you the corners are fabulous. And again, the obvious thing is to stamp them in corners. One corner, opposite corners, all four corners. And I love the way the design team, we try and come up and show you lots of different samples showing all the different ways of using them. Pattern building, I know our lovely Eleanor has done some fabulous pattern building with them. So I thought I'd come up with a design where we're going to use it almost in the centre of the design. And it was the, the bubbles on, on this design that I'm thinking, it got me thinking of fish and bubbles. And that's the way my head works. As always, we've got some lovely inspiration on the envelope. And I would just point out we've got some glossy accents on this. So I don't know if you can see. And they will just be raised beautiful, tactile. It's always lovely to have something a bit more tactile. And if you notice, I've even put a little bit of glossy accents on the eye just to highlight it. So I'm going to start off with a piece of Multifarious cardstock and it's five and a half inches square. And I'm just going to put that black line round. So you just need a permanent pen for this. I've left one side just to do, and I always hold my card down with my hand and just drag my pen along the edge. You can do this at the end. I know there's some fabulous crafters that do it at the end, but if I do it at the end, my pen will whiz across and spoil my design. That's just the way it is for me. And I keep that bit of paper because I use it for my black edging. Because again, that's me. And we'll start off with this lovely, as I say, river root corner. Now, if you haven't got these stamps yet, don't worry. Um, you know, this is just inspiration for you to, you know, give you some ideas. But also for me, I, I like to see lots of different ways of using something. You know, I don't just want a stamp that's a one-trick pony. And what I want to show you is that these new designs do mix and match with stamps we've already got. You know, it's not a standalone collection. So I'm just going to stamp this and I'm going to do it by eye. You could measure it if you wanted. And maybe when I stamp mine, I wish I had. But I'm thinking I'm going for that there. And I'm just sort of putting it, I've just roughly, as long as it's straight. And I don't know if you can hear, but I'm afraid my chair squeaking again. I don't know, between my hand and my shoulders cracking when I stamp and then my chair squeaking, Eric snoring gets very noisy in here. That is just beautiful. And as I was saying yesterday, perfect for your Christmas designs. So we're just going to stamp it once for this design. And then I'm going to add a little bit of foliage, some seaweed. And for that, I'm going to use this sea algae stamp. But I just want to get my Lavinia. So this is my low tack tape. I know it's right in the middle, so I know it's my Lavinia. And I'm just going to sort of pop it 
I could make a mask, but I'm thinking, you know, if you suddenly need a quick card. And then I'm going to get a piece of copier paper and just put that there. And I'm going to change my ink up and I'm going to come for one of the new colours and that's the, it's the Advocado. Now, if you've not got this, any of your greens, I think possibly your Verdant would work really well for this. And I just want to stamp some sort of seaweed foliage growing up. And I'll just put, I think we'll go for three. And the end one just down here. And again, I've just marked off this area so we don't stamp on that by mistake. So that's building up lovely. And I love this in the centre. So I'm going to use a fish now. And this one's from the fish set. And I'm going back to the black, the black ink. Now, I hope you have a go at these designs and I hope you share. Or maybe this, just by coming and sitting and having a chat with me, it'll make you think of another way you could use this stamp. And then you can share that. As I say, it's lovely the way we do inspire each other. Now, I just want the fish to look like it's swimming out of the design. So what I'm going to do with my black fine liner is just add some little sort of dots on there, almost just to extend that edge. I think it would help if they were straight. Right, and we can take this off now. And then for those bubbles, I'm going to use this, use this lovely stamp. Now, shh, I've told you about this stamp before. It's called Sea Bubbles, but it's a long stamp. And mine met my lovely little scissors because I cut it into three because I love these end bits. But look, I could stamp the whole stamp if I wanted. So sorry, Tracy, but it needed to be done. In fact, if you could, I'd love a pound stamp with just these little bubbles on. So I'm thinking, let's go the bubbles here out of the fish's mouth. Lovely. Now, you could leave it like that if you wanted. But because we've got bubbles and circles in here, I'm thinking I can just make it look like almost like the bubbles are coming up. I mean, often... From coral, there could be other little, you know, um, creatures hidden under here. So I'm just going to turn this one this way and have some bubbles there. And that's it. Three is just, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to give that a bit of a blot. And then what we'll do is we'll add some lovely stencil work. And I'm going to come in with the coral stencil because, again, I'm thinking coral, fish. And I've got my piece of copy of paper, look. And we'll put that back there just to mask this area. And I'm just going to put my coral just about where I think. Bear in mind, I don't want any edges, so maybe. And you can take your time. And I'm going to come in with mermaid ink and my number seven stencil brush. My number three would be a bit concentrated, so I don't want number three. But my large one almost covers too large an area, so I'm coming in with the number seven. And I don't want to go below here, so obviously I'm protecting that. And I can see where this edge is here. So really, I just want my stencil in here. And I want it darker in this area, and almost fading away to the edges. Now, we've done this before, and I'm going straight over the bubbles and the stamping. That's fine. And in the lid. And again. When I've got less ink, I'm just going to tickle these end bits so again in cup distribute it in the lid and get it onto the brush and then darker at the base and then as we've got less ink and a lighter touch and I'm just tickling can lift up and have a look oh look how lovely that is 
So I think I can just go one bit more darker. And then nice and light up there. Yes, I don't think I'll add any more up there. Let's have a look. And look at that. I just think that's so lovely. So we'll pop the lid on that. And that was the mermaid. And then to add a little bit more colour here, I'm going to use my pencils. And I have got them on the floor next to Eric. So if my voice changes, it's because I'm leaning on the floor. And I'm going to use these lovely aquarelle colouring pencils. And I've gone for... Just put them back, sorry mate. Um a blue and a green. So that's number three seven ten is the green. Oh no, sorry, twenty-four is the green. They're all three seven ten, do you know? And eighteen is the blue. It's amazing what you learn. You are very good for putting up with me, you know, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm just going to add a bit of blue in here, just almost in random areas. And then a little bit of green. Now I could add it all blue or all green, but I just thought mix those colours up a bit. And I love that sort of, can you see we've got a lovely area of blue there and there, there. But then we've got this lovely green and the blend. And then what I'm also going to do is colour these gorgeous bubbles. Normally we would leave them white and I thought just for a change, just to mix it up a bit, we'll colour them blue. I do that, you know, I don't know about you. Almost sometimes I, I almost think, oh, I'm just going to do it a bit differently this time. As I've said before, I do find it hard making the same card twice because I do think, oh, we'll just do this a bit differently. So I'm going to get my lovely watercolour painting brush. Look at this, it's my favourite one. It's so well used. So this is the number one. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of water on here just to start that lovely blending. And then I'm going to come in and do some Winker colouring. So as you know, with my Winker Stella, and this is the clear, and you can always check the difference because if you look at the lids, look. So you have to make sure you put the right lid on the right one. But it does actually, well, I was going to say it does tell you on the base. Maybe I need to write it on the base as well, you see. Look at that. I thought it said on here, but I'm going to put some dots on mine. So, but anyway, so the lids do tell you the colour. But I always check, have a little look in here. So... See, I must have dreamt that, that they, they said it's on the base. And it's only as I was telling you and looking and I thought, oh gosh, it doesn't. Is it just me that dreams these things, you know? Have you ever done that? Have you ever told somebody something that you've thought somebody's told you and then you realise you actually dreamt it? So, well, maybe that's just me as well. Carl, bless me, is funny. Sometimes when I tell him something, maybe something I've heard on the news or the radio, and then a couple of days later, he actually tells me the same thing, but he always adds a bit. And it sort of exaggerates it a bit or adds a bit more. And he'll say, I don't know who told me. And he, he does make me laugh and I'll say, it was me. But I think you've added a bit extra there. So I'm just going to do the wink of colouring. So obviously you can watercolour these pencils. But rather than watercolour and then add the wink of colour, I've just added it straight away. Check that's nice and clean. As I say, it's the clear. And you just get that lovely, especially when it's dry, we'll get such a lovely glimmer on there. And I just think this is such a lovely, clean, crisp design. And I'm going to come in with my metallic pens. And this is the green, the violet and the blue. And again, I'm just going to add some colour to the fish using these. Now, I could use my pencils if I wanted, but I just thought I've got these pens and I almost want the fish to stand out a bit more. And he's got these gorgeous 
lovely shiny spots on him so we'll just have let's go for the green do his gill in the green now this could be for somebody who actually goes fishing i know there's an awful lot of men that love to just have the pastime fishing when we take eric to the park we're so lucky here there's a lot of parks and they have fishing lakes in the middle and the number of men that are there all night and young men as well and they're there with the fishing rods or it could be somebody who keeps tropical fish <laughs> or somebody who's just a grandma like me who has spider-man and batman our two hashtag goldfish that we got for Elliot and jensen that they promised us would literally last a few months and i think they must be three years down the line and they're still growing <laughs> The things we do so i've added some color and i have to say i just love that and i think it's so clean and simple and crisp and when i went for the sentiment i looked in my sentiments and i found this one dream higher than the sky deeper than the ocean and i thought oh that's lovely and if you're not sure how it's going to look obviously use your acetate look so we'll stamp this and again we'll go back to into the black but if you wanted to make a few of these cards you know they'd be perfect to leave empty and then just stamp your sentiment when you know what you're using it for i mean let's face it, it could even be a new home card somebody's going on holiday you know maybe they're going traveling for a, a six months or so lots of different things so we'll pop that in the middle and give that a good stamp beautiful and then to add some splats what i've done for this one is i've come in with this beautiful blue now you can add white if you like but i just thought the blue you can leave it like this again if you want you know me and my posca splats and Again, if you want to keep them just in the design, pop your copy of paper back on and protect it. But I just want mine right across. I only want a few over here. Just to take away that stark white on the card. And if I bring that up, can you see? Now, I love that. But again, it's totally up to you. If you don't want to add your little Posca, leave it off. Now, what we do need is some glossy accents. Now, if you've not met Glossy Accents before, it dries clear, um, but it does take a couple of hours to dry. So I would always do this right at the end. And a little tip, I always pop some on my mat first just to check it's working, but make sure you clean that up. And then almost pop the nib just so it's above the card and then I find if I just dab it and try and lift it straight up don't press too hard you don't want too much coming out but it's fabulous for not only dimensional it glues metal embellishments I mean if you want to put some under the fish and it'll dry and look like the water is just dripping off the fish I mean if you wanted you could pop some along the bottom here look and have some little drips coming down and then on the eye there we go and then lid on and i actually store mine upside down just so that the air bubbles are at the top and i always have a, a hat pin hand it's called my umbunga because this is a bit of a tinker and it can bung up so a hat pin's fabulous decorative hat pin so I shall bring that up to show you. So obviously this one, I've added a little bit more with the glossy accents. So I'm going to pop that one there and I'll bring in the finished one. Mustn't put it on top, must I? So I'll make sure they go next to each other. In fact, I might just go and make myself another brew, you know, because I don't want to put something on top of that and spoil it. And when you think this all started with that fabulous new corner stamp, so I've only used one of my new stamps, but I've brought in other 
stamps that are in my stash stencils i love stencils and i really don't think we use stencils enough i'm really passionate about stencils so please get your stencils out and look back i've done a fabulous video quite a while ago i'll try and highlight it on double stenciling where you actually put two stencils one on top of each other and stencil through both honestly brilliant technique but yes please get your stencils out and have a play right i'm gonna go and get that cheeky brew and i might just look what's in my biscuit tin you take care as always thank you very much for popping in and i appreciate all your lovely comments until next week, love and hugs from me. Bye for now.